Hello and welcome to our project professional tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to create a custom project calendar, how to set the working and non-working days, how to set the working time and uh, how to set holidays for our project. So let's begin by going here to file and creating a new project from a blank template so that's how a project professional looks when you create a new project to the left you will have uh, the list of your tasks and the various activities that you need to carry out to uh, complete your project with the duration start and finish times and to the left to the right okay this is the left to the right you will have uh, the gantt chart showing the tax task independencies and uh, predecessor and successor relationships so what we do now is go to the the the, the project tab and you can see here we have change working time click on that and when this opens you will see that we have a standard project calendar as our base calendar for the project if you click on this drop down arrow you will see that we are given up to three templates that come with the ms project when you install you have a 24 hours calendar you have a night shift calendar and you have a standard project calendar so i would recommend that for this project we create a custom calendar so that we can be able to set or rather to do all the various settings that we want to do without affecting the base calendar for the project so what i'll do is is this there's this command here create new calendar i'll click on that and then here i have a, a an option of uh, either creating a new base calendar or making a copy of one of these uh, templates that are there and i want to make a copy of the standard calendar then i'll call this qba custom calendar custom project calendar then i'll click ok after clicking ok you can see here for calendar we now have four calendars and this is the one that is active our custom calendar and let's say now you have uh, some working days and non-working days so what what you can see here is there's this legend that shows the days marked white are the working days the ones with gray are the non-working days we have exemptions for holidays non-default work weeks and with those with entitled working hours so let's say we have a, a holiday on 25th of december 2020 so i'll click on this date and then under exceptions i'll mark this as a christmas holiday enter when i do that you will notice we have uh, this uh, day marked as, as 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 blue light blue I'm not sure whether it's light blue or green as this on the on our calendar we have it as an exception day if you click on it you will see that december 25th has, has been set now as a non-working day based on uh, our custom calendar now let's say we in our calendar we want to work on a, on weekends so i want to set saturday 
as a working day but not a full working day maybe we were, we are working from 8 am to let's say 12 noon so we'll go to work weeks that's default and I'll, I'll go to here we have details we have uh, sunday which i'm going to set as a nine. we have monday which is set as a working day we have tuesday we want to use project default times uh, we have wednesday also thursday and friday using project default times for these days then saturday i'll set it as uh, we have specific working hours which i want this to run from 8 am to to 12 noon no sure how to 12 is pm i think then i will click okay so when i go to when i go to if i click on any day which is a sunday a saturday i'll be shown these details here as working times for 19 December 2020 which is a Saturday is set between 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. So that's how to set working times custom working times and uh, I've also already shown you how to define working and unworking days and set holidays. Maybe one more holiday let's let's go back to the exceptions tab let's say we have january february which or january friday which is uh, the first we want to set this as a, a new new year holiday new year holiday full day is non working so if you click on it you'll be shown as an unworking day so after after doing that now we have known or, or rather we've, we've we've learned how to set the holidays so down here we have a button written options click on that click on options you will be able to see options related to scheduling calendars and calculations and we have a week starting on sunday if you want to change that you can change that to any day that you prefer we have default working time as 8 am to 5 pm we are working 8 hours a day 40 hours per week 20 days per month and all this other uh, scheduling information that is contained here so what i will do is i will click on okay I will have that saved. And then for us to be able to use that calendar that we've created for our project, we need to go to the project tab. And then under project information, we choose now here under project information, we have uh, the start date defined. I don't want to change anything. We don't have uh, the finish date defined. We have uh, the schedule from a project start date. That's okay. And here under the calendar, now I want us to set the base calendar as this custom calendar that we've created. Click on it and click OK. So now that we've done that, uh, now we've set now our custom calendar and, and and those other settings we want to do what we want to do next is go to file and uh, save our project so go to file save our project as project1.mwp click save and we are good to go so that's how to create a custom project calendar define working and non-working days working times and 
set holidays in microsoft project i hope you have learned something i hope this video has been helpful if you like it please give it a thumbs up share with uh, your friends and, and other professionals you can also consider subscribing to the channel it helps me grow the channel and know that i am creating content that people love thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video cheers